Hi guys, I'm author Stacy McAnulty. Happy World Read Aloud Day. I thought today I would share a picture book, Moon, with you. This was written by me and illustrated by Stevie Lewis. So let's jump right in. Look up, look up, it's me, Moon. I'm Earth's best friend. Where Earth goes, I go. We have been together since the beginning, almost. Let me tell you a story. Once upon a time, about 4.5 billion years ago, a space rock the size of Mars crashed into baby Earth. Big old mess. Piece of rock, chunks of Earth, and even lava were blasted into space. This crash trash came together to make me a satellite. Actually, I'm Earth's only natural satellite. Natural, not created by Earthling, satellite, I circle Earth. She's thousands of human-made satellites, too. They're mostly metal and plastic, not exactly best friend material. Guess that makes me Earth's number one real sidekick. Number one. It takes me 27.3 days to go around Earth. It also takes me 27.3 days to spin once. Coincidence? I think not. Means I'm dependable. My face always smiles at Earth and you never see my backside. Yeah, basically we never see moons, but. You've probably noticed I look different every night. Check out my phases. Fun, right? See all the different phases? Hmm. Some other planets have best friends too. I am moon, but I'm not the only moon. And of all the moons, I'm the fifth biggest. I'll always be Earth's pal, but that doesn't mean we're twinsies. She's bigger, four times bigger, and her gravity is six times stronger. Hmm. Gravity, the invisible force that makes an apple fall to the ground instead of flying up to the sky. A cow that weighs 600 pounds on Earth would only weigh 100 pounds on me. Speaking of cows, Earth has cows and nursery rhymes and nursery rhymes starring cows, but a cow has never jumped over me. I'm too far away for even a kangaroo to make that leap. Average distance between Earth and me, 238,855 miles. You could fit 30 Earths in that distance and probably like a gazillion cows. That's probably my favorite picture. BFFs help each other out. I keep Earth from being too wobbly. This might be the most important thing I do and you probably didn't even know about it. With me, gently spinning my gravity at work. Without me, topsy-turvy. Don't worry, moon gazers. You are never without me. I don't disappear during the day. I'm always here for Earth. And just because you can't see me when it's super, you just can't see me when it's super bright out or when it's cloudy or when I'm on the other side of Earth, I can prove I'm always here Check out the ocean's tides. We'll check it out on the next page. Hmm. High tide happens twice a day. Low tide happens twice a day. That's gravity again. My gravity pulling on Earth's ocean. Hmm. I have the best views of Earth. And Earth has the best views of me. But sometimes Earthlings wanted to see me up close. I'm the only other place in the universe where man has set foot. And I do mean man. I'm still waiting for my, my first female astronauts. I've had 12 moonwalkers and a few have left footprints. And some of those footprints are still here. No wind or rain or snow to mess them up. Other things you won't 
find on me, oxygen, mosquitoes, which I think is a good thing, plants, animals, including cows, and liquid water. Nope, these belong to Earth and not Moon. Things you will find on me, rocks, really big rocks, more rocks, and presents from Earth, also known as stuff left behind by untidy astronauts, such as nail clippers, golf balls, hammers, American flag, and falcon feather. Earth and I have so much fun together, like when we play Eclipse. Solar Eclipse, I hide sun for a few minutes. We play this during the day. Lunar Eclipse, Earth's shadow passes over me. We play this at night. I'm always here for Earth. I'm always here for you. Where Earth goes, I go. And where Earth goes, you go. I guess that makes us best friends too. And then at the back of the book, if you want to learn even more about the moon, I've got some additional information in here. So that is Moon, subtitled Moon, Earth's Best friend because she is so important and always close by even when we can't see her. So yay for the moon. Um, thanks for letting me drop in and read a book with you. Happy world read aloud day guys. Bye.